programs. U.S. Marshals say they're closing in on Swami G right as the heat is turned up on the man who helped him out of jail. It took a $10 million promise, and Chris Sadegi joins us with what could happen now that that promise has been broken. Chris. Well, a bond amount that high is exactly the reason everyone thought Swami G would not run, but he did, and now the county wants to cash in. U.S. Marshals say they think Swami G and his followers are in Nuevo Laredo trying to find a way to get him overseas to India. This is based on interviews they've had with people close to the guru. Those Followers helping him could face charges of their own if they are caught. Meanwhile, Monday is the deadline for Peter Spiegel to respond to a civil lawsuit that was filed by the county. Spiegel is a California businessman who signed the $10 million PR bond allowing the Swami out of jail. Now, the county wants the money on that bond, and if Spiegel does not respond by Monday, a default judgment could be awarded. That basically means the judge can decide to hand the money over to the county if Spiegel does not show up to court. Now, we called Spiegel's business offices, and people there were not able to tell us what his plans may be. Hayes County Sheriff's Office still has those outstanding warrants from the day he disappeared, but tell us that the marshal's office has taken over the brunt of the investigation into locating the Swami. Chris Sade.